In this video, I want to give you a quick tip on how to rig up these gulp peeler crabs. Now, I've had a lot of questions as to how exactly I like to rig these up because they can be a little tricky when you take them out of the package. There's really no uh, perfect way that you can rig these up on a standard hook. So what I found that works very well when using these peeler crabs or any type of crab uh, imitating bait are these Savage Gear hooks. As you can see, they have a little weight on the bottom. They're fairly small and you can use them to rig up any type of soft plastic crab you may have, whether it be a gulp peeler crab or perhaps uh, you actually buy the actual Savage Gear crabs that come standard with these hooks on them. And that's where I got the idea to use these hooks for the gulp crabs. And I'll go ahead and show you how to rig them up here. So this is what the hook looks like out of the packaging. It has a little weight on the bottom that is flat. And as you can see there, when it sits on the bottom, that weight sits like so, and that hook stands straight up. And I'm gonna show you how you can rig it up on the crab here. So you have your peeler crab, this is a two inch. And what you wanna do is put the hook through the back of the body, right through the back of the body like so. Try to keep it close to the top as you push that hook through. That way the hook is more exposed as it comes out. I'll show you here. But just stick that hook through, right through the body, and then push it right up onto the body like so. And there you have it. You have a peeler crab rigged up, ready to go. Now, as you see, the weight sits there, and as that shrimp sits on the bottom, see if I can show you here, or as that crab sits on the bottom rather, it stands in like almost their defensive uh, position. Their claws are facing up, so it looks a little more natural when you rig it up with these Savage Gear hooks. Now I mentioned that you want to make sure that hook, the shank of the hook is close to the top of the crab. That way more of the hook point is exposed and you will more likely hook a fish when it does grab this. If you bury the hook too much, I'll go ahead and show you. Let's say if I bury it too much in there, then you can see only a little bit of that hook is exposed and you're more than likely gonna miss fish if they do grab it like that. Now, if you don't have those Savage Gear hooks, there are some other ways you can rig them up and you can rig them up with a standard jig head. This is a 1 8 ounce jig head and what you would do is the same thing you would do with those Savage Gear hooks. You would go through the back of the body, push that hook almost all the way up through the top of the crab or the front of the crab, poke it back out, and then it's good to go just like that. You have the hook point exposed, so you're most likely gonna hook a fish if it does grab it. You also have the weight in the back and that's also gonna pull the crab in a backwards motion as if they were trying to flee from a predator. They keep their claws facing the predator and they back up and try to get away from them. So that's an ideal way to rig these up on a jig head. Now aside from hooking them through the back like, like I just showed you, you can also hook them through the side and that will give them more of a sideways kind of walk on the bottom. And same thing, just hook it through the side like so. Pop that hook out push it through and there you go it's rigged up ready to go when you pull that crab along the bottom it's gonna look like it's crawling sideways like a crab would be doing if it was walking along the bottom now one last thing with these peeler crabs what they're good to use for as far as what fish you want to target when using these they're awesome for black drum and red fish those are probably the top two fish that I would use if I was using these peeler crabs especially if sight fishing for them you can put them on that really light savage gear hook this one weighs one seventh of an ounce I believe it is as you can see there it says on the packaging one seventh of an ounce they do sell them in different sizes a little bit heavier with a bigger hook but I like to go smaller especially when sight casting for fish using these types of lures because you don't want it to hit the water and splash and make a huge splash and spook those fish so I like to go as small as possible and as light as possible 
If you are new to Salt Strong, we are the largest online fishing club for saltwater anglers and we guarantee you two things. Number one, you'll start catching more fish in less time. And number two, you will save a ton of money on your favorite tackle and gear with discounts available exclusively for our members. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com and we'll see you there. There's something about the water that'll give you peace All by yourself or with your family Live Salt Strong in where the line today